Monster Rancher name etymology? Would that be good for you? Is that something you'd like? Do you even remember Monster Rancher? I barely do. It's a retro classic now and I'm old, but I did enjoy it as a kid. The anime and the game. And it was just close enough to Pokemon to make the cut for our channel, but different enough to where most Zoomers these days haven't actually heard of it. But you will now. We're going over every Ranchable monster's name and explaining it. This is the etymology of Monster Rancher. Now, you should know that ranching monsters takes a lot of time and skill, but unfortunately it's a skill you can't really learn with today's sponsor Skillshare, but with Skillshare you can learn a load of real world skills to improve your hobby or career skills and more. I guess their lessons on time management would help you ranch more monsters. Also, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on that link in the description will get a one month free trial of their premium membership. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video to learn more. Oh, I should note, we are talking about my Monster Rancher, as it is the most recent game in the series. Monster Rancher, like Digimon and heck, most monster collecting games, Pokemon Now too, does not include every monster from every past game. And this video is already way long, and there's like half of them. Now, there are only about 35 families of monster in Monster Rancher, which seems like a low number considering we've been doing Pokemon and Nexomon and Digimons in the works. But you see, the whole point of ranching is breeding, and you can breed them to together to create different mixes, and thus make different monsters. Take this plant monster, you could breed it with the dragon to make the specific monster, Mandrake. Monsters breed and mix to make different monsters. Now you know. And first up, we have their flagship monster, the one on the cover, the annoying sidekick in the anime, the beholder school dropout, Suezo, the Pikachu of the series. Its name is derived from the Arabic word Suez, meaning beginning. It's also an area of Egypt Egypt, containing the famous Suez Canal. And they sort of resemble the Eye of Horus with the large mono eye. Plus, that eye is a symbol of enlightenment and psychic powers, which Suezos have. The name also ends with the suffix O, making it a noun, and one that mixes well with other words. These pure breeds and their names typically end up in other names of the subspecies. So in this case, it's the O. And next up is Mochi, named after the putty-like sweet rice dessert, Mochi. Traditionally, mochi is wrapped in cherry leaves, sort of like its back plate. Simple, easy, because it's a pure breed. Now when you breed these two together, you get moch, a suezo with mochi elements. The name moch simply comes from the word mochi, but without the eye, because it only has one eye, so it's missing the other one, so they took the eye out. <laughs> I hope that's what they were thinking. Uh, now then, I'm going to go over all of the purebreds and then we will get into the subspecies, so try to remember these and later we'll mix it up, like a Gogurt commercial. Mew is simple, and named after the sound small, adorable cats make. Garu's name comes from a few sources. In Hindi it means weighted or heavy, but in Japanese it is an adjective you add to mean feels like. Someone feels like something. Not you or me, but someone else. It also could be gar, as in growl. The sound a lion might make before it goes ooh woo, because it's cute, and that's why they use there. Uh, Garu is also an onomatopoeia for just grrr as well. Golem is a golem. If you don't know, a golem is a typically inorganic creature, also typically man-made. However, there can be sources of nature-made golems, depending on your fantasy of choice. Pixies are small winged little fairies named after the small winged little fairies of myths known as pixies. Tiger, God, I hated this guy in the anime. That is clearly not a tiger. It doesn't even look like a tiger, and they don't really do tiger things either. But it turns out that this is, in fact, due to a mistranslation of the Japanese word Riger, which is based on the Japanese word Raiga, which means the thunder fang. The translators sort of just transliterated and romanized it, but incorrectly, instead of properly translating it. Zan is a Chinese name that means providing support, but it also means beheading or decapitation in Japanese. Wow. Dragon is simply named after dragons, I'm not sure what you were expecting. Durahan has the same name as the Headless Knights, the Irish legends. However, in Japanese, it's pronounced Dolahan. Beeklon is from Beetle and possibly Clone? Or realistically, Cyclone, because it has multiple drill and spin techs. Also, Lon is a common suffix for Kaiju, like Megalon, who is also a large Beetle man thing. Duckin is a duck, they also call it Dakung sometimes. Duck King. Naga, half snake, half uh, normally, the other half is human, but not always. But yeah, it's just a Naga from Hindu belief. Hare, 
a type of rabbit. Plant, non-meat-based life. When, when, when they start mixing, the names get better, I swear. Hengar. This name is derived from the Japanese word henge, which means to transform. Like in one of those mecha anime. Ripper is definitely named a bit after the famed serial killer Jack the Ripper, or possibly Ripple, the act of its tail flowing in the wind, or how wind rips through areas. Its design is based on the Kamaitachi, weasels that could ride on the wind and slice the ankles of unsuspecting victims Jack the Ripper style. Just like Weavile. Joker. Bottom text. Really though, their mask isn't actually very clown-like, it's more of a Jason X sort of look. However, in Monster Rancher 2, they added the little red nose, which really helps sell that it's not the Grim Reaper, it's just a clown. Honk! Nession is a mix of the Loch Ness monster, Nessie or Lessie, and possibly Sonar, as it uses many Sonic-based attacks. Raiden or Raiden is a Tengu. However, Raiden is the name of the Japanese god of thunder and lightning, something that Tengu typically are seen either using as weapons or are the causes of. Piroro is named after Pirot, a clown archetype from Commedia dell'arte. The name is also derived from the name Giroro, a character in the manga Kiroro Gunzo. They have a similar body type and appearance, and this manga is referenced actually a few times with various monsters. Abyss is named after the Abyss of Death and Darkness. They are said to be able to revive souls and such. Ogyo is a fish. It's named after the mythical Greek island of Ogygia. You know, the ones from the Odyssey where Calypso lives, a beautiful sea nymph. Falco is a falcon with an overall design based on Horus, one of the widely known Egyptian deities who is half man, half bird. Xenon is derived from the Greek word Xenos or Xenon, meaning foreign or foreigner, an alien, Xeno. Color Pandora. Uh, well, they all have different colors and they are all sort of box shaped, like the myth of Pandora's box. Their Japanese name makes a bit more sense though. Sukoro Pandora, which comes from the centipede genus Scolopendra. They are segments of a whole, sort of like a centipede or like a phalanx. Baku looks a lot like Falcor from The NeverEnding Story, but Baku shares the same name with the Baku, the dream-eating tapir from Japanese mythology. Pancho's name in Japanese is Panpukin. Essentially, it's the Japanese transliteration of the English word pumpkin. As such, the intended name may have actually been Pumcho? However, it's Pancho instead. But I suppose it could be Pancho like the overcoat, because its pumpkin shell is kind of a big coat. Phoenix is a phoenix, and Gali comes from Phrygian goddess Cybel priests, who were named the Gali. Its appearance has helped this case with their sun face, a typical holy and praised symbol, but not technically denominational. Plus, with its large white collar, it's got a very religious vibe going on. Centaur is like a centaur or something. And Monol is named after the famous monkey Monolith from 2001 Space Odyssey. Also, this is a real monster in Monster Rancher. This is just like a soul in a brick. What is this? Look, it walks around. Chuparo. Chup means to be quiet or speak softly. And Sparrow. L'amour is a French word for love. Also, it could be lamb and glamour mixed together. Beta is possibly the words bear and rat mixed? Or eat? And uh, a final submission for what it could be, uh, bear and beat with a small diminutive female ending. Ah, it's odd. And those are all of the pure breeds. So now let's circle back to the mascot Suezo and start looking at its offspring when you force it to breed with a different species. Yeah, monster ranching. Uh, at least sometimes it's really easy to breed them. Some monsters are horny. Th th this, this one, its name is Horny. It's Suezo and Tiger, it's just named after its horn. See, they, they added an eye to horn because it's it's one eye. And then Pink Eye, it's a mix of Suezo and Pixie. Fairies are pink and it's an eye. Also, Pink Eye is an illness, just like this thing's existence. I mean, look at these two. Did you think that they enjoyed... Moving on. Zonzo is simply a mixture of the names Suezo and Zon. Ibe, I Beetle. I'm gonna try to speed up now. Gamba, a gamba is this cute thing, and also this instrument, which when you put it upside down, it kind of, it could look like gamba. Gamba also can mean prawn. Eh, they have similar tails. Green Suezo, it's green like plants. Fuzako, it's named after Fuka, the Japanese word for shark. Nikta is possibly named from the Nikta Nisa, a genus of night herons. Possibly the yellow crowned heron to be exact. It should be noted that Tengu are bird people. Mimizo, possibly a mini Suezo. Mimi is also Japanese for ear. Baseball Boy is our first special monster, a rare monster. It's not really a mix, it's just a, a rare monster. You can kind of think of them as like event Pokemon or legendaries, I guess. And yeah, this one's not really a mix, but he is a boy 
and a baseball. It was for the baseball episode of the anime. Angel is actually a cool name. It's an eye angel. Suki Suezo. Suki is a type of pottery in Japan. Dayton. Dayton are super common in the anime, though the name is just an English boy's name without the Y. Dayton, which means a bright and sunny town. And its fur is very bright and sunny colored. Night Fang is named after Zan's darkness of night and Tiger's fangs. Jaguar Beat. It's a, it's a jaguar beetle. Also, he beats you up. Pod Dog. Drop pod and dog. Bargest is named after the Barghest, a large black dog in English folklore. Garum was a fermented fish sauce used as a condiment in ancient Greece, Rome, and Byzantium. Uh, that sauce gets its name from the Greek word garos, though. It's a species of fish that was used for it. Also, this might just be a mistranslation of Garmer, a wolf or dog associated with both Hell and Ragnarok, and described as a bloodstained guardian of Hell's Gate. Snowball! It's named after its snowy white coat. It's also a very common name for cats and dogs. Dandelion. It's a yellow blooming weed, a reference to this monster's color. The word lion could also be a nod to the fact that this species is called tiger. How smart and quirky. Licorice, the candy. Pooch. Pooch is simply the name for a cute doggart. You know, slang. Uh, Poochie is just boomer speak for pupperino. Flazer is a flame blazer. Try eye. It's got three eyes. Mochigaru, a mochigaru, what else? Wolfie, it's the diminutive form of wolf. Zabo. This might be a corruption of sable, which has a few meanings. In heraldry, sable is a tincture black. If you don't know, tinctures in heraldry is a set of specific colors used in coat of arms and such. Basically, they are the allowed colors. A sable is also a carnivorous, weasel-like animal native to parts of Asia, which shares a cute little face with sable. Battleion. Battle and a corruption of lion. Most of the Durahan ones are just armored versions of the base monster. Mermagaru, a mermaid version of Garu. Well, for man, I guess. Moose, a common hair product, which would be very helpful to a lion. And a hair, winky blinky. Shidao is a corruption of shadow, and it sounds really edgy. Capitano, Il Capitano is a masked character from Commedia dell'arte. And like most Pororo subtypes, it's a clown joke. Punchy sure likes punching a lot. And Titan is named after the Titans, large creatures made of elemental energy, basically elemental golems. Also, Titan is the name of one of Saturn's moons, which is yellow. Mochi Monk, a monk of mochi. I could get behind that, I love mochi. Pink Golem, it's a fairy, so it's gotta be pink. Jailkeeper, named after the job it was created for, being a prison guard. Notably, most golems were created to be guardians. Battle Rocks, they're armored rocks ready for battle. Gobi is named after the Gobi Desert, which covers parts of China and Mongolia. Eagle King is the King of Eagles. I'm surprised they didn't reference the rock here. A giant bird is just called the rock. It would have been perfect. Big Korobochi. It's just a really big Korobochi. What's a Korobochi? It could be a corruption of color and Daidarabochi, which was a giant in Japanese mythology said to be so large that it created lakes and ponds with its footprints. He's a big dude, and he makes continents. La Rock. Love Rock. So it's cotton candy, I guess? Gadgeter G. That's, that's a Zord. Its name comes from Gadget, typically a small mechanical device. However, this is a big one. So maybe the G stands for Gargantuan. Or just Golem. Drilleron 5. It just sounds like a big drill, doesn't it? Is that why they're using the Roman numeral? It's a big V, so it's drill-shaped. I guess it's the fifth revision. Sueco, the female variant of Suezo. Most of the pixie types just end up being very feminine. And the name Sueco is a traditional Japanese name for the youngest girl in the family. It is illegal to have a daughter after you name a daughter Sueco. I just made that up, it's not true, but like, it should be. Aero. Aero is short for aeronautical or aerodynamic. The prefix aero is in relation to wind or air, you see. It is Greek for flight or air, after all. Dana. I don't think any dragons would be named Dana or Diana, honestly, but it is a really common female name. But this isn't a dragon, it's just a giant woman, kind of dressed up like a dragon. I could see this name just being a corruption of Diana, as Diana is a Roman goddess, a very proud and feministic deity. Jane is named after Joan of Arc, the famed female knight of history. Mischief apparently is very mischievous, which means causing or showing a fondness for causing trouble in a playful way. Allure, from the word allure, the quality of being powerfully and mysteriously attractive or fascinating. Fairylina. The name comes from the Old English spelling of the word fairy and ballerina. Lilim. Lilim are said to be night spirits, children of Lilith, according to Jewish folklore. 
Undyne. Undines are water elementals in the alchemical works of Paracelsus. Columbina. You already know it's Peroro, so it's from Commedia dell'arte. Columbina is a cosmic servant playing the tricky slave type. She is always running back and forth between two lovers. Pink Princess! Take a guess. Miku! C can they just get away with that? Like, that's, that's literally just Miku. Miku Hinasaki, the main character from Fatal Frame, the video game by Tecmo. Oh wait, they made both. Great. Kasumi. They did it again, but this is just Kasumi, the female ninja who is the main character from Tecmo's Dead or Alive series. Ryoku is a Japanese name that means strength or power, and Aya is a Japanese word meaning art or beauty. Its Japanese name is interesting though, it's Shuri, coming from Siri Kondo, a famous female Japanese wrestler, or short for Shuriken, a weapon also known as the Ninja Throwing Star. Homura is Japanese for fire. Kagura is a type of Japanese ceremonial dance. It literally means entertaining gods, which may be why this monster is said to come from heaven. Saga, from Zan and Naga. Thing, named after its teeth-like arm thingies. They're, they're tooth-colored, okay? Ray just comes from manta ray, or rays of light, I guess. Guy, because it's a guy. Also, it, it could come from guy, meaning outsider, like in gaijin. It's fitting, as this is a Zan who has learned the martial arts of the Raiden, meaning he is an outsider in the martial arts community. Wing Lord, Lord of the Wings. Abata, or Abata. It's apparently a Zan prototype, which may be where its name comes from. A uh, beta, a beta, a previous design before the full release. Agi possibly comes from agriculture, as pumpkins are very common in harvesting aesthetic. Alternatively, it could be from Angi, a Sanskrit word for fire, possibly the fire within the jack-o'-lantern. Izuna. Only a few people have seen Izuna before. It is said that this is because Izuna has mastered the martial art of ninjutsu. It shares its name with Izuna Unchiha, a character from Naruto who knows ninjutsu. These crossovers are getting a little crazy. Fake Graffiti. It was also named Doodle in one of the games, but I see why they changed it. It's said to deface property. That's what graffiti is. General Death, who may possibly be a reference to General Grievous in Star Wars, or is just in general a skeleton looking Reaper Man, generally associated with death. Rock Dragon. It's a rock dragon. Crevice, named after an ice crevice. Corcasus. Corcasus is a simple corruption of the Caucasus Mountains, which is its homeland. It could also be based on the cork-eating beetle, or the suffix asaurus, typically denoting extinct lizards. Nizhang could come from a corruption or misspelling of Nidhogg, a legendary dragon of Norse mythology who gnaws at the roots of the tree Yggdrasil. Techno dragon is just a technological dragon. Diabolos comes from the Spanish word for the devil. Diablo. Owlbeard! Funnily enough, owlbeards are a type of Norwegian chicken species? Ragnarok. The cataclysmic event in Norse mythology said to be the end of days. Dragons do tend to play a role in Armageddon myths from around the world. Vega. Vega is the brightest star in the constellation Lyra, which is commonly shown as an eagle. And see, it has an eagle-like beak, and wings, and head. Woody is made of wood. And Chaos Dragon is said to only bring chaos into the world, so it's aptly named. Goldie is named after its golden appearance. Glacier, ice armor, so it's a glacier. Kagemusha is from the Japanese Kagemusha, meaning shadow warrior. Vesuvius the Flaming Knight is named after Mount Vesuvius, the volcano surrounded in myth and legend. Amoro Knight is named after the knight in the Amoro Soshi, a compilation of ancient songs and poems from Okinawa and the Amami Islands in Japan. Berserker. Berserker. Genocider. Is someone who commits genocide. Aqua Knight. A knight of water. Kurvis could be cursed and vision, sort of referring to its pumpkin head being similar to the headless horseman. Warrior Z is the last warrior on the backup plan list. Chaos Durahan. It's chaos again, but a Durahan this time. Now Jellydon, here's a hard one. I'm not positive, but it could be from Jet Black and Jet Delay, as well as just Beaklon, the, the, the parent species thing that it is. Centurion is named after a Centurion. Melkarba could be named after the Merkava battle tank. Merkava is also Hebrew for a thing to hide in, and it should be noted that golems come from Hebrew legends. Roll beat comes from roll and beat for beetle. Orchestron is a strong orchestra. It's also a French horn trumpet thing. Eggplantern, ooh yeah, spooky monster name. It's an eggplant lantern. Tank lawn too. Tank and lawn. 
the, the, but it's the sequel. Blockin, Block and Turduckin, Grappa Duck, Grape Duck, Machu Picchu. Um, it's named after Machu Picchu, the ancient city. Why? I mean, I guess it's ancient looking, but. Huh? Duckus, Duck Abyss, King Tut Duck, King Tut, the Egyptian ruler. But it's a duck. Pumpkin Duck, a pumpkin duck. Duck Fever, a terrible disease. Cyclops, named after the monster, the Cyclops. Rosio Cobra, a rose and a cobra. Blobster is a blob mobster, or it's just stir to denote that it's an adjective. It is a blobus blob. Jungler, it lives in the jungle. And seto comes from the Japanese word setomono, a general word for pottery or ceramics. Seto is also a railway system in Japan. Hacktack is a mixture of hack and attack. Magic? Banana. I'm so sorry. Rocky fur. Rocky and fur. Fairy hair. Fairy and hair, and it sounds like derriere, so it's funny. Pulscorn comes from pulse and unicorn, and it will scorn you. Drabbit. Dragon rabbit. Gunbit. Gun rabbit. Tobita, a troubling rabbit, named after the hair of Inaba. Inaba being an ancient Japanese province. There are two famous Japanese legends about this hair. One involves the hare tricking a group of sharks into forming a land bridge for him to walk across. Also, Tobita Shinchi is one of Japan's most famous brothels, and like, it is a rabbit. Rubber Rabbit. It's a rubber rabbit with a diminutive Y. And a rabble rouser. Jack-o-ranta, it's jackrabbit and jack-o-lantern mixed. Roborabby X, it's a robot rabbit. Spy hair, spy hair. Daruma hair, Yuki Daruma is the Japanese word for snowman. And then add hair. Mana, mana was bread that God gave to the Israelites that supposedly fell from heaven. Heavenly food, magical food. Pengi mochi, not gonna lie, most of the mochi mixes are just gonna end in chi from mochi, heads up. And this one adds pengi from penguin. Draco mochi. Draco or Draconis from Dragon and Mochi. Armochi. It's it's armor mochi. And look at this monstrosity. Beetle mochi. Say the name again. Beaky. A cute way of saying beak. But ducks have bills. Muchy. It could be from Munch, a common sound effects that rabbits make in cartoons. Jinji, which is sort of a hard name. However, it might be a mixture of gorilla and mochi, and possibly bring in the Ripper with its color scheme and the Jiangxi. It's the classical hopping zombie from Chinese myth. It could also be a Yeti. I mean, look at this one. Plus, the Ripper is based off the Kamaitachi, which are snow-based creatures. Owl mochi. Owl and mochi. Why an owl? Well, Raiden was a bird of prey, so why not an owl? Tropimochi. Tropical fish mochi. Pumpkin mochi! Pumpkin mochi! That sounds really good. Black mochi! Uh, black mochi. Devi! It's a little devil, hence the name. White mochi! White mochi is probably normal flavored. Or paint flavored. Mochi mew! Mochi and the sound cats make. Meek mew! Could come from micro, the Greek spelling of micro, and mew. Mum mew, mom or mum, possibly to accent the fact that it's just a stuffed woman with cat ears. Bow mew! Remember, tiger is a wolf. So bow, as in bow wow, the dog noise in not reality. What dog goes bow wow? Duck Mew. It's a duck again, but this time it's a cat wearing a duck skin. Eared Mew, because they weren't eared before. It just has bigger ears now, doesn't it? Skull Mew. Oh no, it's cute. It's just Skull and Mew though. Mew Bat. Bats typically live in darkness like abyssal zones, which never have any light. Also cats with bat wings is sort of a thing. I've seen it quite a few times. Bow Bow or Bow Bow. Bow bo? Bo bo. Hmm. Well, it's bow wow again, but twice, because it's twice as dog, twice the bows. Munda. Mew panda. Chew mew. That's a cute name. It's mixing the chew from chup. La mew just sounds like a French cat. Oh, it is. And swimmer is a rare one. It is rare to see a house cat swim. And I guess that's remarkable enough to be named after that fact. Mew bear. It's a mew teddy bear. And it's rare. Mew taro. Oh, finally, an actually interesting name again. It's based on the Kintaro, or Golden Boy, a folk hero from Japanese folklore, a child with superhuman strength. Kato Lantern. It's a cat, but a jack-o-lantern. Also, Kato Nine Tails is a thing. Mochi Plant. A mochi and a plant. Queen Plant. The Queen of Plants. Mandrake is pretty clever. It comes from the mythical mandrake root, and drake, a subspecies of dragon. Dak Plant. A corruption of duck plant. Coconutty, coconut referring to its color and thick armor, and it could also be coconut, as in a dreadnought. Skeleplant, a 
skeleton plant, bug bug flower, it's a multi bug flower, pumpkin plant, pumpkin plant. Wait, aren't pumpkins plants already? Also, hang on, what happens to all the good names? It's been so long. Sampler is a corruption of sunflower, and it samples the sun because it's a plant. Mushton, mushroom ton. Ton is a suffix in Japanese for when something is even cuter than a chan, right? I mean, this is a super cute mushroom. Sky hangar, the sky version of hangar. Herbgar, herb hangar. Proto zero. Prototype and zero, denoting that it's before the first version, which is what a prototype is? His name's kind of redundant. Ornamenger, a mixture of ornamental and hanger. Howl zapper, howl zapper. I mean, come on. Mail ripper, a chain mail ripper. Folks, or focus, uh, it's a folk hero. And hairs, possibly even foot as well, I guess. A sassy ripper, an assassin ripper. Parasaur is from a dinosaur, which is named the Parasaur, so it's just sort of the name. Harlequin, another name for a clown. Chaos Ripper. Uh, it's no use. I just keep writing and erasing Sonic jokes for each of the Chaos versions. Night Sickle, Night and Sickle. I swear we'll get to the better names again soon. Gars, Ghastly Ghost Armor. Fire Joker, take a guess. Plague Joker, it's a joker that's also a plague doctor. Beretta. Beretta was an American TV show in the 70s about a detective who was good at wearing disguises, just like this monster. Mochisaurus. Mochi and saurus, the suffix for extinct lizards. Lava Lessie. Lava and the Loch Ness Monster, aka Nessie. Scarabio. It's Scarabeetle. And I guess it kinda sounds like Lesion. Grapey. It's a grape diminutive. Yuma is named after the Yuma Crossing, a site in Arizona and California that is significant for its association with transportation and communication across the Colorado River. It features a dry, desert climate that contrasts greatly with the amount of water nearby, much like this monster, used in both deserts and oceans. Oblessy comes from Abyss Nessie, and it's quite able. Lessie Orca, Loch Nessie, and an orca whale, which is technically a dolphin. Aguila is the Greek word for eagle. Griffinite, it's a griffin knight, and also griffin and ite, which is typically the suffix for minerals, and Durahan is armored in metal, which is minerals, so... Ryducken, Raiden Duck. Gargoyle is a gargoyle, wow. Nascalva is named after the Nazca Lines, a series of ancient geoglyphs in the Nazca Desert in southern Peru, specifically the bird because of the large wing hands. Owlden, there's a lot of owls for Raidens. Captain Bird. Captain Falcon and Bird, generic. It's possibly just a wrestler name. Peruru comes from the Japanese onomatopoeia Peru Peru, which is supposedly the sound effect of trembling from emotion. Its design is also roughly like Peruru, an imp-like female character in the manga Kiroro Gunso. Urara also gets his name from Kiroro Gunso because it also has a character named Urara. And they are both small, okay? That's, that's they're similar enough. Though this name could also be from Uranashi, Japanese for fortune teller. Salom. Salom as a name comes from the Bible. The story goes, Salom danced for her uncle Herod, and she danced so well that he offered her anything that she wanted, and so she asked for John the Baptist to have his head served to her on a silver platter. Lovely. And that's why this monster loves to dance and has an intense bloodlust. Ha <laughs> ha. Dorara is another Kerero Gunzo character. This time, Dorara, who has a cool dragon mode. Kablo comes from Kabutomushi, Japanese for rhinoceros beetle. Flower. Uh oh, you know, maybe it was the names that led Monster Rancher to becoming no longer a thing. You know, Pokemon, they got cool names. Digimon, they got cool enough names. So, like, they're memorable and people like them for a long time. But, like, Flower? You gonna remember Flower? Death Clown. You gonna remember Death Clown? Uh, probably, because you'll see it every single night for the rest of your life now. Brie, a delicious cheese, also free, like birds. Gold Piroro, a golden Piroro. Cheyenne is possibly shaman, or specifically the Cheyenne people, a group of First Nation American people who inhabit the Great Plains. Zebro from Zebra. Mewbis, when you mew into the abyss, and the abyss mews back. Ent. An ent is a mythological sentient tree creature. Karma. Karma is typically the good-bad meter of life. 
And this monster also looks a bit like Anubis, who weighs your soul based on if you're a bad dude or not. Shadow Mage. Cosmic Abyss. I guess it's cosmic because Galley is sun-themed. It's the witch! A sweet witch. Liberta is possibly another mispronunciation or mistranslation or mistransliteration of Roberta. Robot and Berta, a common enough name. I guess maids often do have common names. Husky Gill. Husky and Fish Gill. Husky means both fat and it's a breed of dog. Evil Fish! It's just a fish that's evil, okay? Gyoruna. Gyo is Japanese for fish, and Runa is a Japanese name meaning mighty strength. Osaka Knight. A knight of Osaka. Plana. Plant and fauna. Fish are animals too. Also, there's the Plana Caves, two small islands in the southern Bahamas, because, you know, the tropics, like tropical fish. Mimio. Japanese for ears. And Ogyo. Surfana. It's, it's Finn as a surfboard. Also, in Sufism, Fana means passing away or to annihilate. Oh yes, this fish. Muco, Falco Mew. Piroko, Piroro Falco. Naguako. A Nagual is a human being who has the power to shapeshift into a jaguar in some Mesoamerican beliefs. And then you mix that name with Falco. Loveco, Love Company, but actually Falco. Jock. He's a jock, bro! A North American term for a typically athletic person. Gaia. A name for Earth in many media and cultures, but officially it's Gaia from the Greek mythos, said to be the goddess of the Earth, guardian over all of its resources. Caesar. Caesar is a title of imperial character, you know, like Julius Caesar. Caesar salad. Clearly the best salad. Fight me. Chaos Xenon. It's a chaos alien. Peach tree bug. It's a peach coloration of a tree bug. A bug that wrecks peach trees. There are many. Gun bits. Gun robots, but diminutive to robots. And also they look kind of like bullets. Piranicolo. Little piranhas. And the mythical Suchinoko, a Japanese reptilian creature that lives in the mud. Also just a corruption of color. Tetra. Tetra means four-sided. Cola ball. It's a color ball. Princess Colo. Princess color. Puppy Colo. See, Baku is a dog. Mahjong Colo. Mahjong tiles. Gigante is huge in Spanish. Icebergy, a diminutive iceberg. Magmax, Magma X, extreme to the max. Gontar comes from Gon, a Japanese word meaning trustworthy or loyal like a dog. And R is from hair. Electrio is an electric eel. Pandibaku. Pandabaku. Gimo seems to be a very similar creature to the monster hunter monster Moss Swine. However, its name isn't as explanatory. Gimo is the romanized pronunciation of game with a heavy Japanese accent. Gimo. However, the name could also pull from its green appearance and moss. Green moss. No? Well, here's Mucho. It's, it's Mew Poncho. Stone Face. It's got the body of stone and the face of a stone because he's Stone Face. Meloncho is Beeklon and Watermelon Poncho. Blitzy Clingy. There are two of these. One that is based off of The Cooler Kids, a music group from Brooklyn, New York, that created two original songs for the Monster Rancher 4 soundtrack. And the second is a pirate-themed barrel, named after its common trait of clinging to the walls and exploding. Jack in the Clow. It's Jack in the Box mixed with Poncho, who is a pumpkin and those become jack-o'-lanterns. So good on them for mixing jack-o'-lantern and jack-in-the-box. Marincho is marine, aquatic, poncho. Pulsinella. Punchinello is yet another character that originated in the Commedia dell'arte. Shellincho. Poncho is in a shell. Coroncho. Coro as in color, mixed with poncho. Hi, Nacho. Hello, nachos! But really, it's another character that originated in Commedia dell'arte. One that's become a stock character in Neapolitan puppetry now. Cream Puff! It's a cream puff! Very French! Nutcho! Nut because of its hard shell, and poncho. Deathwing. Oh gosh, this design is whiplash from the last one. Blizzard. Buzzard and Blue Fire. Its old name was Blaze because fire, but it could be seen as a magically icy flame, so blizzard as well. It's certainly ice-colored. Verde, Spanish for green, like its head. Ultimate, named after its so-called ultimate power. 
Blue Gale. Blue and Gale, which is a strong wind. Dark Piercer is Dark Piercer. Chariot is named after a chariot, which is what the Romans used to kill people and also have fun races. Bastet is named after Bastet, the Egyptian cat goddess. And uh, no, they don't have a horse body. Also, the face looks more like the set beast. Pillar. Pillow from the soft dog bits and hair and pillar. Junior is the first challenge you get in the game, therefore it's probably the youngest because game logic. It's easy to beat this youngin. Sandy is Sandy. Also, the Sandman puts sand in your eyes. Obelisk. An obelisk is a monolith, typically in a spire-like style. Asphaltum. Asphalt. Furred wall. It's a furry wall. Imagine if Pokemon did this, like... Oh god. Akashic. The Akashic records are a compendium of thoughts, events, and emotions believed by theosophists to be encoded in a non-physical plane of existence known as the astral plane. Written in stone, you could say. Ho ho. Gyororo is a fish-eyed bird. Gyo is Japanese for fish, and Yororo is a Japanese descriptor that typically means to waddle, stagger, or walk shakily. Hanaro. Hana is the Japanese word for plant, and Chuparo. Sorcero, it's a sorcerer sparrow. Brickadee, it's a brick, and a chickadee, a type of bird. Nasupen, Nasu is Japanese for eggplant. Taihon, tiger, and hon 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 baguette, because French, for love. But no, that's a joke, it's actually just porn. Rabbit Joe, rabbit chocolate. Oh, a chocolate rabbit's actually a thing. Aqua wool, everybody loves the smell and feeling of a wet sheep, right? Goro Goro is the Japanese onomatopoeia for thunder, or a large boulder rolling down a cliff, or huge stomps, or cats purring, Ooh, which is actually really good here, because it could be both. I mean, it's got really cute oni horns. Float! It's named after an ice cream float. Momokuma. Momo is peach in Japanese, which is a common flavor for mochi, and kuma is bear. Liver is. Love or live mixed with grizzly. Tanuta. Tantrum and tanuki, the Japanese raccoon bear dog thing. Magikuma. It's a magical kuma. It's a magical bear. Well, come on, let's get this over with. Bring up the next one. That was it? Oh, we're done. Some of these were strange, right? Who named these? Half of them are vaguely interesting and the others are just like green dog because it's a dog and it's green. Wow, what a cool monster. It's like they had two people on the naming team and one of them was much more inspired than the other. Maybe that was the only one who knew how to read. Ugh. Or maybe he was the only one with the skills needed to create unique and powerful worlds. And with Skillshare, you can check out science fiction and fantasy, creating unique and powerful worlds taught by Lincoln Mitchell, a professor and writer. He teaches about the ripple effect and how to break writer's block while world building. Perfect for novels, D&D campaigns, games, and anything really. It's a way cool and way fun skill to have. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. So you can explore your creativity to its fullest. A deal way worth taking. But there you have it. Did you ever play this series back in its heyday? I had Monster Rancher 2 myself, which is your favorite. What monster collection game should we look at next? As long as most of the Mon have interesting names, we'll probably cover it. Let me know down below, and until next time, never stop using your noggin.